I like to try to make it a part of the work. So I coordinate the color of the signature with colors in the painting. So here we go. Um, here's a couple of little brushes and these are just inexpensive brushes that I reserve for signing my paintings. This one is a Princeton snap brush size zero and it has a little pointy tip on it that's good for signing. And this one is just a little size zero craft brush from one of the craft stores. So get a brush that you like and uh, I like the pointy tip so that it's not a fuzzy signature, but whatever works for you. Now, I recommend when you're first starting, I know this seems super easy, but something about it is intimi intimidating and kind of difficult. So I recommend you um, try this out on a scrap piece of canvas or a painting that you don't really care about too much and just practice doing your signature. First, you gotta figure out what is your signature. I just use my last name, one of my last names, and then I signed it on the back with a permanent marker with my full last name and the name of the painting. But on the front, I just use O'Brien on mine. So choose what your signature is gonna be. Practice it a little bit somewhere with the paintbrush that you're gonna use before you try it. And get a wet cloth if it's acrylic that you're signing, get a wet cloth and have it ready to wipe it off if you absolutely goof up the signature, which could happen. Now, if you look on my palette here, what I've got is I've got some of the permanent rose paint that I used in the flowers of this painting and a little bit of uh, titanium white in my medium, and that's what we need. We wanna make it real creamy, uh, liquidy paint, but we want it to be a little bit opaque so it'll show up as the signature. Okay. Okay, you've practiced your signature. Now you're gonna come in Make sure you put it high enough so if it's framed, the frame won't overlap the signature. I like to put it in the lower, left or right. That's it. All right, easy peasy.